Hi Stampers, Jill here from Jill's Shared Inspiration and today I'd like to inspire you with a lattice cut for your cards. There's a couple ways you can do it here. It makes a, a nice element piece for your card or you can do it directly on your card fold itself to create a beautiful wow um, edge piece to your card. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do this piece today. You're going to start with the standard A2 card size, which is um, your card stock is 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. And I like to use a patterned paper that's, um, well this one is patterned paper on both sides, but on this one it was patterned papered, patterned on one side and white on the other. So either way you do it, but you want um, a solid color for one on the inside for one of your patterns. And there's going to be a template that you can download. Um, so look at that and download your template. And what you're going to do is line up this line with your score line on your card. And you want to line it up so that your beginning cut and your end cut are pretty evenly based evenly spaced, excuse me, on your um, card. And then what I like to do is just paper clip it so it'll hold in place instead of trying to hold it myself. I'm just going to fold that under and paper clip it. And then all you have to do is cut these lines. I'm just going to trim that shorter. Okay, so you're going to cut these lines on the card. Okay, now when all of your tabs are cut, go ahead and take off your template then. And then we're going to go ahead and open up the card so it's laying flat. It's kind of really hard to see where the cuts are. But once you find your cuts, you're going to fold up the long tabs. So that's going to fold up. And every other one, you're going to fold up. And I know this is probably really hard to see on the video. Because it's kind of tricky to see here too with this pattern. This is a, a tricky pattern to see through, but go ahead and fold up every other one. And then what happens is they just tuck under the previous arrow that's not folded up. So you're just going to tuck all those in. And then this top one here, or bottom one, you're going to go ahead and cut off this where the score, where it's scored. And you're going to place it down here so it tucks under that one. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on that. And then that's going here and getting tucked under that one. Okay, and then you can go ahead and fold it back in half. And you've got this beautifully striking lattice work over here. And then you can just do your image panel over here or your sentiment panel, whatever. And then when you open it up, see I like the solid color because then you can still write on your inside but you have the, the lattice that shows through too. Now if you wanted to do it as a um, side panel like this, the main image, what you would do is, this is a two inch piece of cardstock, the patterned paper and it's folded in half down the center. We did the same cutting as we did here and 
the same folding, but only you're going to have it cut on each side. And I just layered it then on a darker colored, I mean on the yellow, and then on the dark card base. So a striking but simple technique. Hope you like that and give it a try. If you do, let me know. Thanks a lot and happy stamping.